school organization video and this is going to be how to organize your binder and doing this in the beginning of the year will help you all throughout the year to stay on track knowing when due dates are, exams and everything like that. Also how to organize your notes in your binder. I use the binder method. I know not everyone uses a binder but it's what I use so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Just all the supplies and the tools you need to stay organized. Okay, first to start off, I want to show you the simple supplies you need for your binder to stay organized throughout the year. I suggest you invest in these and then you can use them all the time. So first off is a stapler, especially when you have to staple assignments and such and group things together. Stapler is good. I have this nice heavy duty one. And then another thing that I have to have is a three hole puncher. This one is actually more travel size. Next you'll need your sheet protectors. And I love these so much. And another thing that I really love to use are all these little flags. So these are the post-it flags. And these actually come with a little holder here. So you can just lay it down and it'll just pop up. And it's good for just organizing your notes, even for your textbooks, just to flag important things. And then another one that I like is this one. These are more arrows so when you put them in your book you can point to something specific and have these just stick out of your book and they're really colorful. Next, these I live by. I love these so much. So these are little tabs like this and they're, they have an adhesive and you can peel it off and stick it back on without damaging your paper or anything and it has a little paper tab you could write and it's see-through so these are great for just um, separating papers I also have them in like pink and green and I just have so many of these and they're reusable so that is also great um, next just simple post-its are great to have around um, I have like a block full of just different colors so let's just get into the binder I have a one and a half inch binder. This is the one with the little see-through pockets. So you can actually put pictures or anything you want in here. Just make it your own. So my number one thing I like about this binder is that you're able to fold it back until it is flat. And I can just take notes just like this. Next are these tabs right here. I have four classes, so I just have four tabs. Usually comes with five. But these tabs you can find anywhere. They range from the simple ones to the ones with different pockets. So I like this one because it's plastic. It's more durable than the paper ones. And you can change the name just by sliding this little paper out. And of course, you're going to label it by subject. The thing I love about these is they have pockets on both sides here and here so when you're in a rush and you don't want to open your binder you can just slip it right in here and then file it later but this is great to hold additional handouts and things like that so I really really suggest getting the one with the folder it's a bit more pricey but it's really worth it and much more durable so my first tip that I have is when you get your syllabus from your teacher um, just look at it first and if it's all on one sheet that's really great or sometimes you can actually go on if you guys have a school website they'll have the syllabus there for you and what you can do is you can copy paste the schedule or the syllabus and then you can kind of format it to be on one page so you just have one page that you can reference all of you know the readings and things that are due for example on here this is our schedule and it just has you know the readings what it's about and the points and it's all on one sheet so that's why I have it in a sheet protector and I'm always going to have the syllabus in a sheet protector right after the tab so I'm going to have my little divider and then a sheet protector with my syllabus in it and that goes for each one here there's a syllabus there and there's a syllabus there and then there's a syllabus there okay so as you can see I have a syllabus here it's in like a table format very nice and clean 
So all you have to do is go to that tab and you can feel, because it's an industry protector, you can feel that it's going to be your syllabus. And you can easily just look what's happening that week or what's happening that day. As for the syllabus, what I like to do is look through it and look for the really important dates such as a midterm, an exam, an essay due or projects due. And I like to highlight important dates like my midterm is on this date. And then the next time my essay is due on that date. Just so when you look at it at one glance, you can tell, okay, the, this is the time I have between an essay and between an exam. Just so you can kind of get a feel of what needs to be done and what time so you're not rushing. Also in my notes, I'm they're also organized within there. So I have chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. And again, these are separated by these little tabs. And there are the tabs like this that I showed you earlier. I'll just show you how simple it is. They can pull on and off. So I can just put that there and it'll stay. And then when I take it off, it peels right off easily. And that tab is reusable. So in here I have it just separated by one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how I organize my notes that are typed out. And you can also do this to your handwritten notes. You can organize it by your subject and then within that you can organize your notes in there by chapter or by week. Here's a example of how you can print out the PowerPoint slides. Here I just did six per page and they're back and forth in black and white. So this saves a lot of space and you just you know just go through it with your highlighter and your pen. Bring it to class and you can just add your little notes on the side. That's what I like to do. Okay and in the back of my binder I have this folder here so I like to put it in the back okay, so you don't need to bring your binder everywhere with you sometimes you just need to bring the reading or like a worksheet or something just to bring so you can just bring it all in just a slim folder and that's all you really need to bring so here I just have my readings for my two classes and I can simply put it in my binder if I want to take my whole binder that day or I can just clip it out and just bring this so it's good to have like a little thin folder just to put the things that are important so if you don't feel like carrying a big load that day you can just bring this your binder can get really heavy when you have too many papers in there so I like to have some separate folders like this and they don't need to really be in your binder at that time I like to take these folders and organize them in here and I can just leave these at home they're all organized by the class and the week in chronological order so I just have these at home so when I need to go find them again I know exactly where they are I have a couple of these but you can get one for each class so that way your binder isn't too full if you feel like you don't need those notes at that moment you can go and organize them in here so this is just a monthly and weekly planner make sure to look for one like this I got this one because it's really durable and it has really sturdy tabs and I like to have this little tab again just to mark the week so I can easily find what's going on. What I love about a planner is you can see the whole week at a glance. So I can look at um, if I have what readings I have, if I have a quiz, things like that, what I'm going to do on the weekend. So I have everything at a glance. And then in the beginning there's always the month. So in the month, you can look at everything in a month. So I can kind of see how my month is going to be, if it's going to be a really busy month, if I really need to be on it. So those are my tips for staying organized. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I look forward to making more videos like this. If you guys have any requests, just leave it down below, or you can inbox me. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.